Hello and welcome to the third in a series of films about the standard level organic topic. Here we're going to be looking at a particular type of homologous series called the alkanes and hopefully by the end of this film you'll know what features all alkanes possess, how we can use a, a system of prefixes to identify how many carbons there are in a carbon chain, in particular with the alkanes, and also um, you'll be able to name the first six alkanes, so that is alkanes with up to six carbon atoms, and be able to draw their structures. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the features of alkanes. You've seen a bit of alkanes, hopefully, before um, in the first film. Um, we were looking at these molecules which were made just of carbon and hydrogen, so they're called hydrocarbons. These carbon atoms in the chain have only got single bonds. This is a really important feature of alkanes that distinguishes them from the similarly named alkenes. Okay, so only single bonds, and this means because there's no space, if you like, there's no spare bonds in the molecule where other things could add, alkanes are called saturated. Right? We can't put any more atoms into them without taking some out. Okay, So because they're only singly bonded, they're called saturated. And they all have the general formula CnH2n plus 2. So n is any whole number. So for example, if n was 1, h would be 2 times 1 plus 2, which is CH4. Okay, So this is the first alkane with one carbon atom. Okay, And if we have a look at the first six alkanes, because we need to be able to name the first six, we can see in capitals here what the prefixes are we use for one, two, three, four, five, and six carbon atoms. Okay, so they are meth for one carbon atom, eth for two, prop for three, but for four. For some reason, these two, and in particular, prop and pent, get confused even though most people know that pentagons have five sides. okay. So pent means five, and hex, just like in hexagon, means six. These first four are nothing to do with the names of shapes, so they're maybe a bit harder to remember, but some people like to say that monkeys eat peanut butter for the first four. Anyway, here are the formulas, which you should be able to figure out, considering they all have the general formula C, N, H2n plus 2. So what's simply happening is that you're multiplying the number of carbons by 2 and adding 2 to get the number of hydrogens. And what's also very important is that you can draw the structure of all these molecules. So for example, CH4, one carbon bonded to four hydrogens, all with single bonds. C2H6 would have two carbons joined together and hydrogens filling all the other four spaces because carbon remember forms four bonds but it's used one to join to the other carbon I could do that for the third one as well so one two three carbons and as I said before just to save time I might sometimes not bother filling in the hydrogens okay but this is an important thing not to do so it's a bad habit okay bad habit of mine but don't get into this habit because it will cost you marks Okay, and similarly, if I added another carbon, so now I'm kind of, if you can kind of maybe see where the CH2 thing is coming in, because um, before I put this carbon here, we had a CH3 on the end, a CH3 on the end, and a CH2 in the middle. I'm now kind of putting another CH2 into the chain and moving that CH3 along to the end. Okay, so this is C4H8. Now, no, C4H10. But what you might be starting to think at this stage is that I could actually arrange four carbons not all in one big long chain. Okay, But for the purposes of this particular film we're just dealing with the straight chain. So there's C5H12 and if I put another carbon on the end that's C6H14. Okay, So that's how we draw the alkanes and as I say in future films we'll look at how these structures can vary and yet still fulfill these formulas. Okay, so hopefully you now know what an alkane is. You notice that they all end in ain, hence the name alkanes. You know what the first six prefixes are, and you can you feel confident drawing the first six alkanes. If you've got any questions or comments, 
please feel free to come and see me but practice this stuff because it's important to remember you won't remember it just by seeing it once I don't suppose oh and also if you've got any comments that you want to put on YouTube that would be great